we continues with my next guest. She's a nutritionist whose book, Lose Your Final 15, is available now in paperback. And she is here to teach us how to eat for our age. Please welcome Dr. Rowe. Yeah. Dr. Rowe. OK. So, so many of us have made these resolutions to eat healthier, and we lose it. How do we stick to this resolution? First of all, I don't want you to have a resolution. I want you to have a goal. Set a measurable goal. OK. OK? Not, I want to lose weight. I want to lose 40 pounds. OK. And I'm going to do it 15 pounds at a time. Oh, so something specific. OK. Now, we're not getting any younger. No. Our bodies, you, you, you say that our bodies change every decade. Yeah, <laughs> so the things that your body requires in, a, in the 50s are very different from what it required in the 20s. Okay. So you gotta take action steps that are gonna match up to the decade. Okay, well, we're gonna do the decades. Let's start with how do you do in your 20s? So in your 20s, 20s, you know, most people in their 20s think they're invincible. Mm -hmm. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> So um, here's what you want to do. You want to establish healthy eating habits, healthy eating habits, healthy exercise and activity habits. This is, this is important in this decade. This is when you should be paying the most attention to what you eat okay. and the way that you live because this is going to keep I'm going to take you through, you through to your 40s and 50s and beyond. Oh, okay. You see? Okay. So lean protein. We've got mm -hmm. we got a nice stir-fried chicken, which is quick and easy. Okay. And you can save your leftovers. May I eat? I see a fork. Please. <laughs> okay. Please. You can have, you, you can take this over to your... I feel 20 right now. Right. <laughs> Love it, mm -hmm. love it. This stir fried chicken is excellent. So good source of protein, and then you got great, you Oops, know, antioxidants good. from mm -hmm. your vegetables, and so, mm. and you use the leftovers for lunch, a healthy lunch the next day. Okay. Good. Oh, this is good. Okay. Okay. So now, what should you do in your thirties? That's from thirties. So thirties is all about muscle wasting. So it's about building muscle. We start to lose three to eight percent of our muscle mass by age thirty. Yeah. Well, so, all mine is gone. So you so work, just, well, no, okay. You're working out. Okay. So, so this is a great a meal like this. We've got a great baked salmon and and, and, a, a, and an apple slaw, mm -hmm. and the salmon provides 26 grams of lean of protein, good fats, and then you you polish off the meal with these vegetables. So we've got asparagus. Liking it, yeah, liking like, it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're yeah, gonna apple help. Slaw. You're gonna, you're gonna help. To, <laughs> apple slaw is good, right? Mm -hmm. All of these recipes are from my book. Oh, I, well, this is good. I yeah. love this. Okay, so now we got the we got the 20s, the 30s. This is the 40s. 40s. So 40s is when perimenopause starts to set in. Mm -hmm. So it's all about your metabolism. And it's all about boosting that metabolism, right? right? And so what you're going to do is you're going to have lean protein. So the the, ri the rich... I know this is good. I'm, 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 yeah. I, you know, the one thing I don't like about this is I'm aging as I go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, the, so the beef adds your lean protein, and then we polish it off with these mm. vegetables, which mm. have also all these antioxidants to help you. But the sweet potato helps to rehydrate the body so okay. that it helps to boost your metabolism. Ooh. Because dehydration makes your metabolism dip. Okay, so okay. we're gonna do, okay. good. So now we're over in our 50s. Okay, so in the, I love the 50s, okay, right? 50s I love, amazing. I love, 50s are okay. Yes, they I are. I love the 50s decade. It really does, life really does get greater later. Yes, it okay. does. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, so now we want to, we have to cut calories though in the 50s because there's a body of evidence. Why well, I got so much salad here? So, <laughs> in the 50s. <laughs> but, Look, I gave you, I gave you uh, this great grape chicken. So the grape chicken, the chicken mm -hmm. itself provides protein, and then the grapes help to stave off the menopausal symptoms that oh, come in the fifties, mm -hmm. right? So the brain fog and the night sweats and the hot flashes, all of that, the grapes help to stave oh, that yeah, off. Oh yeah, this is my plate: night yeah. sweats, hot flashes, and then and then your spaghetti squash that it's mm. over. You know, very low in calories, but high volume, a high volume, which means it contains a lot of water. It's a vegetable mm -hmm. that contains a lot of water. Where's the plate for the people who lie about their age? So, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding you. But how, how important is it to drink? Because well, I see you have water. How important is In it to drink water? In every meal. I, meal. And you notice I have lemon. I have mm -hmm. lemon or I have mint, some yeah. herb, because it, the lemon is anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. It's very important. And also the water, not only, the water boosts your metabolism as well. And uh, the colder it is, the better off you, you, you stand to boost that metabolism. Yes. Can I put a little tequila? in one of the drinks right here. <laughs> one of the 
occasion. On an occasion. On an occasion. Dr. Rowe, this food is good for every age. I love it. Every this. age and stage. You can't do the things that you did in your 20s for your 50s, but here's the thing. If you make these small incremental changes, it will take you through and put you in peak health condition. I'm feeling good. Yeah. I want to say thank you so much for being here, Dr. Rowe. And for more info on these recipes, go to SherryShowTV.com.